with the children of God. And all my uh, foaming at the mouth fanatics for Jesus. Amen. If you love him, then I give him a hand. Clap it. People ask me all the time, how do you get started singing? Well, the truth is, my, uh, my mother, uh, Miss Norma is her name, used to lead singing in the church when I was a little boy. And uh, somewhere around the age of eight or nine years old, uh, I grew up in Jacksonville, Florida. And there was a neighbor lived across the street. I'll never forget this. As a matter of fact, I had the uh, unique opportunity of running into him again just, uh, what, honey, two or three weeks ago we were in Florida, uh, just outside of Jackson, a little town called McClenny, Florida. And this gentleman was there. He's the gentleman that took a little time with me when I was a little boy, about eight or nine years old. He was a senior in high school. Now get this, he's a senior in high school, probably 16, 17 years old. I'm eight or nine years old, just a little brat across the street, you know. But every time, you know, in Florida, everybody has screen doors because it's hot and we have big skeeters. <laughs> and every time I'd hear him crank up that electric guitar, I was just fascinated by that thing. I, I'd run across the street and I'd press my face against that screen door and I'd just stare at it. And he was sitting in there one day playing his guitar and he was just looking at me with my face pressed against that screen door. And I don't know if he just got sick of me or he felt sorry for me. <laughs> but he looked at me and he said, do you play? And I just shook my head, no. He said, you wanna learn? And I shook my head, yeah. He said, well, come on in here. And he, he uh, pulled out another guitar and he began to show me some chords and things. And uh, I guess I had such an interest in it. it was. Uh, I took to it pretty fast, and I got to where I could learn a few chords. I thought I knew it all. That's all I needed was just a few chords, just so I could play and sing like my idol. Now, my first musical idol was a gentleman from Alabama. I saw a movie about him on TV one night. I was probably nine or ten years old. I hadn't been playing the guitar very long, and I saw this movie about this man from Alabama that could write songs. He could tell people how he was feeling. And he'd write them and write his feelings and he'd put it in a song and he'd sing it. People all over the country just fell in love with this man. I mean, they were just mesmerized by his songs, by his singing. He became a legend. And I found out after I started studying this man that uh, he wrote a lot of good gospel songs too. And some of the first songs I sang in church, probably the very first song I sang in church, was this song written by this man from Alabama. It goes like this. Now this song was written by a man from North Carolina by the name Michael Combs. It goes like this.
I said, you know, I never 